Hi, I'm Dan Stringfield with Twigs Bakery in San Diego, California. For this segment, we're going to show you how to cover a cake with fondant for a wedding cake and then show you a little fondant drape for a wedding cake. So uh, fondant is nothing uh, anybody bought, makes and sells. It's something you purchase. Now, fondant uh, cakes were really, really popular in the late 90s uh, in the early part of uh, this century. They've sort of fallen out of favor a little bit because fondant's gotten sort of a bad rap because uh, it's something you purchase. Like anything you purchase, there's good quality stuff and crappy stuff. And a lot of people use the crappy stuff because obviously it's cheaper and you save money. But the, the thing about fondant, as you'll see in a minute, it's called rolled fondant because you literally roll it out and then drape it on the cake. So it looks like a piece of fabric that's laid on the cake. But the first thing you got to do is start kneading it a little bit. So we're going to get, this is actually a little cornstarch. You want to make sure your table's perfectly clean. You want to make sure your hands are clean. Because let me tell you, fondant picks up everything. But the beautiful thing about fondant is it makes your cake look perfect. Everything you see in Martha Stewart is uh, covered in fondant. Because your cake just looks perfect. So you want to start off with a round because your cake's round. So if you start off with a round, you should end with a round. So you're going to roll it out a little bit. Then just rotate it. Roll it some more, and you just want to keep conscious of keeping that round shape. Okay. So now we got this rolled out, and I'll just show you. You want it to about that uh, that level of thickness, thick enough to cover the flaws, but not so thick that it becomes just inedible. Okay, so now we've got this, and what we're going to do, we're going to have our cake here. We're just going to lift this up and lay it on the cake. And now we go down. We're just going down and smoothing the cake, smoothing the sides. And you have to pull a little bit and push in. So pull out because it tends to just bunch. Now one of the differences you'll note from the buttercream versus the fondant. The fondant you get a sort of really sort of a rounded edge versus the buttercream. So now they, you can buy these tools to sort of smooth the fondant. It's a little plastic thing sort of like this, but with a handle and you can rub it over, but just your hands are fine, really. So now you've got the thing covered, and uh, we're just going to get a, uh, here it is, just a pizza cutter. And just going to go around the edge and just trim off. Fondant. Now you're thinking, what the heck is that cardboard? That was the cardboard, the bigger cardboard that the cake was sitting on. And then uh, you just uh, decorate it and stack it, put the straws in for the tear support, just like you would a normal uh, buttercream cake. Now there's uh, some cool tricks you can do with fondant that you just can't do with uh, regular buttercream. So now I'm going to show you how to do a fondant drape, uh, which is really popular. 